Namaste. Welcome to Zoom Yoga number 41. And as always, we'll start with a quote. It's a Native American proverb. Don't let yesterday use up too much of today. Don't let yesterday use up too much of today. Now we're going to start today with Makarasana, the crocodile pose. It's a relaxation pose. So we lie down in our stomach. And we're taking our chin and resting it on our hands. I'm sure we all used to, many of us used to lie like this when we were younger watching the television. And it's the same procedure as with Shavasana or Advasana. You're trying to totally let go the body weight and increase the surface area of your body on the ground. So you're protecting two areas. You have to be careful you're not crushing your neck. So if your elbows are too far forward, you will crush your neck. So you bring them back. If your elbows are too far back, then you'll crush your lower back. So you have to find the middle way. So you play about for a few moments. Your feet are relaxed, your legs slightly separated, which uses the lower back. And we just start to breathe slowly and deeply up the spine, through the coccyx. Wait for your natural pause as ever. And then you slowly exhale and surrender that body weight. And it will take a few moments until you're totally comfortable because each time you relax, you will have to adjust your elbows either forward or back or wider or narrower to keep your neck from being crushed and to keep your lower back from being in discomfort. So use your visualization, take a breath in from the base of the spine, see it traveling up over each vertebra. Slow, smooth, full yogic breath. Waiting for your natural pause. And then slowly releasing on the exhalation. And that's where the relaxation will then occur. So I'm crushing my neck a little as I begin to relax. I take my elbows further back, which changes the angle and the pressure. So we continue for a few moments until you're totally comfortable and in no discomfort at all. Makarasana, the crocodile posture. Keeping your awareness on the spine as you take the breath up from the base of the spine, right up to your scalp. Wait for your natural pause. Remember that's said to be the seed of meditation. And then you exhale and soften and make any adjustments. We have Advasana, you can lie in your stomach. And relaxation, you have Shavasana, you have the flapping fish on your side. This is just another option. Assisting relaxation. Let peace begin with me. Let me begin with peace. A few more breaths, and then we're going to stretch out our arm and leg. Diagonal arm and leg.
the present deep. Purify the lungs, oxygenate the blood, and calm the nervous system. Okay, stretch out your arms, palms down. Now I can't put my head down completely in this, or I'll eat my microphone, but you're gonna rest your forehead on the ground, and then we're gonna do a stretch with the right arm, and left leg. We're not lifting, we're only stretching. So you're inhaling as you stretch through the right arm and left leg, not lifting, only stretching. Three or four breaths, whatever you're comfortable with, and then you alternate, left arm, right leg. A lovely stretch. Up, you get a little bit of snap, crackle, and pop, but that's okay as long as you're doing it gently and allowing the body that six seconds required for the muscles, tendons, and ligaments to assist you to start to release. So just keep alternating. Focus on your natural pause. And now, if you wish, now you can lift after stretching. So whichever arm you're on, we'll do it with the right, right arm, left leg. We inhale, we stretch through, stretch through, stretch through, and then you take that lift up. It doesn't matter how far you get. And then you can stay for one breath, two breaths, or three breaths, whatever you're comfortable with. Stretch out and relax. slowly lower down and just alternate you don't have to lift if you don't want to if the stretching is enough that's fine but you always stretch first and then lift but you get the idea Finish the beer that you're on. And we're gonna go straight into the Sphinx. So we take our fingers in line with our forehead. And we're using our back muscles to raise our torso. Inhale as we lift up, we're not pushing through the arms. And they'll come up to this comfortable position, the Sphinx. And we just breathe in, lift up through the torso, get a lovely stretch through the abdominals. And relax. So we're elongating the torso, stretching through the throat.
Flow smooth, lifting up, stretching, and relaxing on the exhalation. And then we're going to go into an easy cobra. So normally the cobra, the hands are under the armpits and you push up quite firmly like this. This isn't for everyone. But we can widen the hands, take them a little bit further forward and you can come up with the back muscles and then ease into a simple, gentle cobra, which isn't so aggressive on the lower back. Inhale and lifting up, lengthening, stretching, and softening. You can come up, up and down. You can lower down with exhalation, lift up with inhalation. I prefer to stay up. And if you wish, you can introduce a twist. So we inhale and exhale as we look to the right. Stay looking at the right, inhaling as you lift up, exhale as you soften, and get a twist in the neck. Inhale back to neutral, exhale, relax. Then we'll go to the left. Go back to neutral, lift up and lower down. Then we come up on our heels and lengthen our back. Stretch up with the hands. Yeah, lovely stretch from the spine. Inhale, stretch away with the fingers. Exhale, soften. Let me come up. Back down and we'll do the snake. So we take our, we rest our forehead on the ground. I'm keeping my head up obviously for the microphone. We clasp the palms facing up towards your head. You can turn the palms the other way around, but it's slightly more challenging. And we're gonna come up using the back muscles, the stomach muscles, inhale as we come up. And then you're just stretching down over the buttocks. Exhale down. Inhale as you come up, opening the shoulders, pushing down over the buttocks. Exhale down. You can take a comfort breath if you wish. Exhale down. Nice and easy. If you want to make it a little more challenging, you can raise the arms, but it's very strong, so be careful. So we inhale as we come up. And then once we're up, we raise the arms after we've stretched them. And then you go. Once 
Once more, if you wish, inhale, open the shoulders, push along with the arms, stretch, 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 and then lift up. And then we go. Back up, stretching through the arms. Inhale, stretch through and soften. So we're stretching through the fingers, lengthening the spine, sitting down through the buttocks. Then we're going to the pose of the child. So we're taking our arms, sweeping them around the side, and we're tucking our head in firmly, tucking our chin in, and we're relaxing down through the arms. So you're breathing in between the shoulder blades, you're bringing your awareness to that area and trying to separate the muscles there. Now, if you wish, you can raise the seat up and roll onto the back of the head. You obviously don't do this if you have high blood pressure or any eye problems. You can take your hands in line with your forehead for added security if you feel uncomfortable. And when you're ready, you lower the seat, keep the chin tucked in, and slowly come up, keeping the chin tucked in to Vajrasana. Which is a wonderful meditative posture, also good for digestion, aid in digestion, Vajrasana. So we'll have a wee break. So just close your eyes. Imagine your forehead is like a piece of velvet. Let the body breathe naturally. Just release that space between the eyebrows. Now take your eyelids and scrunch them up and release. Just your eyelids, scrunch them up and release. Keeping your eyelids closed, look up with your eyes, just your eyes, not the head, just look up firmly. Look down. Look to the right, look to the left. And again, look up firmly, look down. Look to the right. to the left. Once more. Up. Down. Right and left. Now take your tongue and press it firmly against the back of your top teeth. This is, relaxes the lower hip area, the pelvic area. 
Take your turn and press it firmly against the back, the top teeth. Careful if they're false. That would be the teeth, and not the tongue. And then take your tongue and push it as far down the back of your throat. Repeat a few more times, press firmly against the back of the top teeth and down the throat. And facial exercises. Take our lips and pout out. You hold that pout firmly, then you put the pout up, down, right, left, and then open the jaw wide, taking out the tongue. So we're pouting out firmly. And then we're putting the bout up, down, to the right, to the left, and then open your eyes wide, open your mouth wide, stick out your tongue, and then this, bout out and back, quick succession. This brings oxygenated blood to the face. So we start again with pout out. Up. Down. To the right. The left and then open wide eyes, tongue out, <sighs> scrunch up like tissue paper, and then in out. When you can feel what's happening to the neck muscles and the warmth coming to the face. And just close your eyes. A few slow, smooth, deep breaths. And we'll do Nadi Shadana, just a few rounds of alternate nostril. So we're going to breathe in through the left nostril, out through the right, in through the right, out through the left helps to bring homeostatic balance to the body. The left nostril works on the um, left lower, so left works on the parasympathetic nervous system, and the right raises, that works on the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight. So by doing this simple breathing technique, you will bring parity to both sides. I believe the, 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 the homeostatic balance within the body switches the predominance of one nostril every about 90 minutes. Okay, so we take two fingers, two fingers, and a thumb, and we drop the middle two fingers, and then you're left with a finger to press and a thumb to open and close the nostrils. So we exhale through both nostrils first. Then we close the right, inhale through the left. As always, wait for your natural pause. You close the left and exhale through the right. Back in through the right. Close the right nostril out through the left. That's one round. any time you're stressed or out of sorts, try this and see what happens. Remember, it's always about the experience, never about the explanation. So in left, out right, 
in right, out left. So I'll leave you to practice a few rounds in your own time. Keeping your eyes closed. Focusing on your natural pause. In left, out right, in right, out left. One more round after the one that you're on. A very relaxing technique. If you find that one nostril is, 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 is quite blocked, you can take your hand on your fist and press it under the opposite armpit and hold for a few moments. And that sometimes clears the nostril. Try it. But you have to hold it firmly. Don't be passive. Really grip under the armpit or take the fist and push it in. And I like to take the elbow and help it and dig it right in. And this will clear the opposite side. Okay, we're just going to do some simple neck exercises. Now, this is a wonderful relaxing position. Um, it's not for everyone. So if this isn't for you, then you sit in a chair or you get any comfortable sitting position to do your breathing exercises or to do the ones that we're going to do, the neck ones. The simple, simple uh, chin to shoulder, ear to shoulder and 45 degrees. So we're going to inhale. And we're just going to turn our chin to the right. Exhale around and we're going to hold it in this position. And don't drop the chin, keep your, leg, keep your neck long. And we're just going to start to breathe in and out slowly. So give it the six seconds it's required to start to stretch and release. Keep your torso long, keep your neck long. And you're allowing the breath to do the work. And with each breath, the chin will want to go around a little bit further. And when you feel that you've got your maximum stretch without forcing, but allowing, then you come back, you inhale. Exhale to neutral. Inhale in neutral. Exhale to the left. The wonderful, gentle exercises, and of course, you get the benefit of sitting in this position for the ankles, the knees, digestion, Vajrasana. Again, you don't drop a chin, you make sure you're getting a, a 
a twist in the neck, as opposed to a bend. But I can't get as far on this side because I'm always looking over my bicycle on the other side. So we're always in a state of imbalance. And just breathe slowly and deeply. Keeping the torso long, keeping the neck long, keeping the breath deep, slow and slow. And this is pulling on the, the, the muscles, the trapezius muscles, the neck muscles up the base of the occiput, the base of the skull. Again, when you feel your, your maximum stretch, inhale, and exhale as you slowly come back to neutral. I find these very relaxing. If you think of all the thoughts that we have and the tightness, our shoulders are often up at our ears and we're contracting these muscles. They're per often permanently contracted. This is why they're, if you take your thumbs and press them into the back of the skull, back of the scalp, and you'll feel like bruised feeling. These are attachment points because they're always working. So now we're going to do um, ear. Right ear to right shoulder. Inhale. And just drop the ear down. Careful not to take the shoulder up. Drop the ear down. And just start to breathe slowly and deeply. If nothing else, you're oxygenating the blood. You're calming the nervous system. You're purifying the lungs. even without the neck exercises. Just make sure that your shoulders are relaxed. Check that you haven't lifted them up to meet the ear. And again, when you feel that, it usually takes at least six seconds, but when you feel that the stretch is at its maximum, you inhale. Exhale. Inhale before you start the movement. Exhale to the left. It's a lovely stretch. Slow, smooth, deep breaths, and then soften. Inhale up to neutral. The final one, we're going to take our chin and turn it to the right 45 degrees, and then drop the chin and place our hand behind the head, which enhances the stretch. So we inhale. Exhale as we turn, 45 degrees. And then we drop the chin down, which already gives a good stretch. But then we're going to take our right arm and place, take a right hand, place it over the back of the head. And then allow your arm to become a dead weight, which increases the stretch. That's a lovely stretch. Check that you're not bending through the torso. Keep the torso long as a stretch through the neck. Keep your elbow in close to the forehead. Don't have the elbow out like this. You won't get the, the benefit of the dead weight arm. And breathe slowly and deeply. To release this one, you let go of the arm let go of the head, I should say. Keep the chin down. And then you ease it up. It's a lovely, lovely stretch. And because this isn't load bearing, you're not using a lot of energy to do these, so they're giving you energy. So now we do the opposite side, do the left. Inhale, turn 45 degrees. 
And exhale, drop. Your left arm, place it over the back of the scalp and then right away, it increases the stretch and then settle into the posture. Breathe slowly and deeply, keeping the elbow in close to the head. You don't have it out like this. Remember, anytime you can stop the video, have a wee look. And then get back into the posture. Again, when you feel you've had enough of the stretch, release the arm. That eases the stretch. Wait a few seconds. Then slowly lift the chin. Mm, it's a wonderful sensation. So again, we're in the last movement. Often they say uh, circle the chin, but I prefer spell, spell something positive. You can spell love, you can spell joy, harmony. Think of a word that's special to you and then just spell it with your chin. So for example, I will, I will do love. So I inhale as I go up with the chin and down. Then across the L. Then the O. A slow, smooth circle. You can make it any color you wish. Then the V. It can be any word. But you get the idea. It can be a mantra. And then relax all efforts. Let the body breathe naturally. Exercise next. So we'll just come up and get a bit of circulation back into the legs. Just take our time. As long as you're focusing on something else, you won't feel any potential discomfort in the legs through lack of circulation. Just allow the blood to rush back into the areas that have been squashed. <sighs> that was an involuntary sigh on my part, so Sign is said to be the quickest way to initiate the relaxation response. So normally it's an involuntary response, but at any time you can sigh, you can take conscious control of the sighing mechanism and break the stress cycle. So we'll have a sigh just now, so just inhale deeply. And let it tight. So now we'll come up and do some knee exercises. Legs are still tingling. We're going to take our knees, take our legs together. The knees are together and we're just going to do simple circles. So exhale clockwise, exhale in the upward movement, inhale in the downward. Nice and slow, exhale down, sorry, exhale up, inhale down, clockwise. Nice and easy. And then we change, obviously anti-clockwise. Good. 
nice and slowly. And then we're going to separate the feet a little. Just far enough so you can have the safety lock with the knees. So we take the knees in and touch. And if I were to slip or anything go wrong, you've got this lock. If you come out too far and try to come in, then you've all this gap, which can potentially cause damage. So we just get your lock. Then we're going to come in, down, and around. Nice and slow. Exhale as you go down, inhale as you come up. You get the idea. Then we change direction. So we start, go outwards with the knees, exhale down, inhale up. You can push through the arms as you're coming up. You can feel what's happening to the ankles, to the knees, to the hips. Very beneficial exercises. And up we come. Feet parallel, stand tall, give yourself a wee break because now we're going to do the chair against the wall. But we'll have a wee break, so stand tall. Allow the body to breathe naturally. Smile, free serotonin. And then when you're ready, we're just going to do the sitting posture against any, any nearby wall, or it can be a tree, it can be anything. You don't want your knees to be above your toes. So it doesn't matter how far you go, it can be as little as this, this is good enough, but you're relaxing the, the torso, you're relaxing the shoulders. But ultimately, you're aiming for to come down like so. And you want the thighs parallel to the ground. But you don't have to, if this is as far as you can go, this is great. As long as everywhere else is relaxed. So if I go down now, and then you relax everything, completely relax the shoulders, relax the hands, relax the face. And it's a legs, they're obviously doing all the work. But don't overdo it. It's a big buildup of lactic acid doing this. Always keep enough energy to come out of the posture. Breathe slowly and deeply. Relax your shoulders. Relax everything. And when you're ready to come out, you can assist. You can take your hands to come out. Or you can just come out under your own steam if you've kept enough energy. This is the beauty of yoga. You're trying to enter the posture with class and leave it with class. And what have I got next? Squats, false raising arms, twists, sampraswasana. Okay, so get a comfortable position. We're gonna do a simple squat. So check. Decide the width that's comfortable for you with the feet. Take a few comfort breaths. We're going to inhale as we raise the arms. Stretch right up. And then exhale as we squat and we keep our arms straight ahead. That's it. You can go as deep as you wish. You can go right down, but the first point of resistance is usually good. You can stay here for a few breaths, or one breath, you come up. Exhale down. Take a comfort breath if you need it or you want it. Then you just continue at your own pace. Inhale as we come up. Exhale as we go down. We'll stay for one breath. Inhale as we come up. 
Exhale down. So you can make this as dynamic as you wish or as slow as you wish and stay for as many breaths. We'll do one more with one breath. Remember, this is just the class environment is just giving you samples and then you adjust it to fit in with your own um, personal requirements. You'll find it each time you want to go down a bit further as the body relaxes and warms up. Again, stand tall with the feet parallel. Let the body breathe naturally. So by standing tall, you're getting a slight contraction in the gluteals, a slight pull in the abdominal muscles, and your chest is opening up. It's as if someone, imagine someone has attached a thread to the center of your head and they're gradually pulling you upwards. If you were to do these three things individually, if you were to tighten the gluteals, pull in the stomach, open the chest, most people stop breathing and it becomes abnormal. But if you just slump and slowly come up and relax as you're standing tall. You know when it's right because it feels so comfortable. Right, without looking down, feel that your feet are parallel. Again, the way to feel if the parallel is you get a slight pull in the top of the hip area, because we don't usually stand with our feet parallel. Usually one leg is sticking out or you're, you're, you're leaning over to one side. But if you stand with the feet parallel, you get a slight pull at the top here. So that's me getting a slight pull, I'll double check. Yeah, perfectly parallel. But if I move them out, no pull at all. Okay, we're just going to uh, do a twist. We're going to take our hands and place them behind our um, head and then we're going to twist to the right but because everything is parallel you'll get a flexion in the ankles the knees and the hips so we raise our arms place them behind our head <laughs> inhale open the elbows which gives you a lovely pressure between the shoulder blades and then exhale to the right to the first point of resistance so that's as far from me and then we're going to inhale as we open the elbows Exhale, relax. Careful not to do what I just did, which was to drop the chin. Inhale, open the elbows. Exhale, relax. And you'll find that you'll go further each time without even trying. The breath will allow you to do this. If you try and force, you'll contract the muscles and you won't get as far. Inhale, open, exhale, turn. Inhale, open, exhale, back to neutral. Now, depending on how far you've twisted, you might want to check that your feet are still parallel. And we'll go to the left. Inhale, open, exhale, turn. Check it, you're keeping the neck long. Check it each time you're breathing in, you're opening the elbows. I know it's a big buildup of lactic acid, but breathe deeply and that will restrict it to the minimum. It'll wash it away, the oxygen. Inhale, open the elbows, exhale back. Inhale, stretch up, stretch up, shoulders to elbows, elbows to wrists. And then that's what you're taking out. I believe it's Samprasrasana now. Okay, we're just going to finish with Simple round of Samprasrasana, and then we'll go back into the crocodile. So step to the right hand side of your mat. Samprasrasana, forward flowing movements. One movement leads 
seamlessly onto another. So we're going to take the weight in the left foot, inhale, take the weight, balance, and then step across and bend, protect the joint. We've done this many times. We're going to inhale and contract everything. Exhale down into the clasp. Inhale as we raise the clasp, look up, stretch up, lift up. Release the clasp down. Push the hands firmly together as we inhale. Forward into fists, into the lower back. Bend at the knees and lean back a little. As many breaths as you wish. When you're ready to come out, inhale. Rejoin the clasp, reverse. Forward bend. You can bend the knees, there's no problem here. Stay in the forward position. As you exhale, pull the abdominal muscles back. Relax your medicine ball, your head. When you're ready to come up, you rejoin the clasp, palms facing down. Up we come. We don't have to glue the arms to the ears. That puts a lot of pressure on the lower back. Turn the clasp around, inhale, stretch up, tips to the right, bend to the left. Inhale, stretch through the torso and soften. You can stay in these lateral bends for as long as you wish or for as many as you wish. Inhale, lift up, tips to the left, open the joint, bend to the right. Inhale, stretch through and soften. Up we come. Inhale, lift up, and again, back to the squat. a simple squat. You don't have to go so far. Inhale, elongate, and soften. Inhale, elongate, and soften. Inhale as we come up, arms forward. We do a lateral stretch. Inhale, exhale to the right, keep the elbow up. Inhale. To the left. Back to neutral. Inhale, lift up. Look up, stretch up, and that's a stretch you take out. Nice and slow. Heel toe together, always protecting the body. Step to the left hand side, and we do the very same again from this side. And then it's makarasana, then it's relaxation. Stand tall, relax, smile, free serotonin. Remember, we're meant to be enjoying this. My body is rested. My mind is calm. My heart is at peace. My spirit soars. So take your awareness and your weight onto your left foot. Inhale as we stretch out. And then just go in a gentle balance. Step across. Inhale, contract everything. Exhale, release down into the clasp. Inhale as we raise up, look up, lift up. Exhale out. Inhale as we push the hands together. Forward into fists around into the lower back as you bend at the knees and lean back. Careful with your balance as you're leaning back. Again, you can stay here for as many breaths. When you're ready to come out, inhale as you come up. Clasp, reverse. Forward bend as you exhale. Again, you can stay here for as long as you wish. But as you exhale, pull the abdominal muscles back. When you're ready to come out, you rejoin the clasp, palms facing down, and up you come. I used to glue my arms to my ears, but then I kept damaging my back, so I stopped that. Turn the clasp around. Inhale, stretch up. Hips to the right, open the joint, bend to the left. Again, you can stay here for one, two, three, as many breaths as you wish. Depends where you're at. Inhale, stretch through and soften. Inhale as you come up. 
Re-engage the lift, hips to the left, bend to the right. Inhale as you come up, re-engage, exhale down. Stay down, two more. Inhale as you come up, arms forward. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale back, follow the thumbs, exhale to the left. Keeping this right elbow up. Inhale, lift up. Stretch up, look up, and that's a stretch from the el sorry, from the shoulders to the elbow, elbow to the wrist, wrist to the fingers. That's what you're taking out. Heel toe together. And then down into Makarasana, the posture we did at the beginning. The crocodile posture. So remember, we're stretching out. We're placing our feet slightly more than hip width apart. We're placing our chin on our hands. And then you're playing about for a few minutes trying to get your elbows in the correct position so you're not crushing your neck and you're not putting pressure on your lower back. So that's me crushing my neck. So I take my elbows further back a bit which raises me up and it's not causing any discomfort in my lower back. So fortunately on this occasion, I've gone right into a comfortable position. But remember, each time you exhale and soften and surrender your body weight to the ground, you'll have to readjust your elbows for the first couple of minutes. Take a breath in from the base of the spine. See it passing up over the top of every vertebra. And then soften and surrender. Mm. Again, readjust either for elbows forward or back as your body position changes with increased relaxation. And smile. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathe the night I smile. Immersing myself in this present moment, I know it's a beautiful moment. Just you continue relaxing and releasing. As usual, we'll finish with the quotes. So they're both today from Native American proverbs. We opened with, don't let yesterday use up too much of today. So this is what you're doing in a relaxation posture. You're letting go of the old, make space for the new. There's always new, so make sure you're letting go of the old. Don't let yesterday use up too much of today. And to finish with another Native American proverb. What is life? It is a flash of firefly in the night. It is a breath of a buffalo in the winter time. It is as the little shadow that runs across the grass and loses itself in the sunset. I'll read that once more as you lie in there, breathing slowly and deeply, and letting go of the old, make space for the new. What is life? It is a flash of firefly in the night. It is a breath of a buffalo in the winter time. It is as the little shadow that runs across the grass and loses itself in the sunset.
As always, many thanks. Namaste. Much love.